Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Today we have an interesting challenge. The Muslims, they posted in my videos about the one uh, regarding Allah, he said that angels have two and three and four wings. And they said that the Christian prince did not show the tafsir of Ibn Kathir. Today, we have a challenge to the Muslims. Who is a brave Muslim is willing to call me and read tafsir Ibn Kathir? Let us see who is the one is ashamed or hiding Ibn Kathir. You guys, is that fair? They post, they make videos, they say, Christian Prince, read, read Ibn Kathir, brother, read Ibn Kathir. Okay, who is going to call me live? Let me open my uh, file talk. Uh, like we have this guy, Fadi, actually. I think this is the guy who posted that. Hey, Fadi, why you don't, why, why don't call me? If you claim that you, uh, you know, uh, we we added you in Pal Talk, you never call. We open sky for you, you never call. Who is a brave Muslim? He is willing to call and read for us Ibn Kathir. You cannot call today, uh, but yesterday you could not call too, and the day before you could not call too, and the day before you could not call too. You are a potato. But today his mommy she did not allow him to call what, what does that mean what do you mean you, you cannot call you are in the chat and you are listening to us but you cannot make a call forget about this kid who is a brave muslim he is willing to call me and say i am going to read for you ibn kathir i accept ibn kathir look at them after i finish my program Read the post and the comment of the Muhammadans. Brother, why he don't show us Ibn Kathir, brother? Brother, now Christian Prince don't want to show us Ibn Kathir, brother? Brother, how come now Christian Prince does not want Ibn Kathir? No, it's you who don't want Ibn Kathir, and this is here, I am proving it. Who is of you is willing to call me and is willing to say before he start, I accept the interpretation of Ibn Kathir. And we will go ahead and read it. All right, uh, Pascal, don't change my topic, otherwise I will block you. All right, it's a warning. Don't change my topic. My topic is not about Catholic, Protestant. No place for silly people here. Any Muslim? So we can say there's no Muslims are willing to read for us Ibn Kathir. So why you have a big mouth in the text saying, okay, why you don't read Ibn Kathir? Obviously, you are terrified to read Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir will get your prophet busted. Ibn Kathir will make everybody laugh at Muhammad and at his, his cult. And this is why you are so muted. Why? Where, where is the, the Muhammadan? So now we finish talking. I go to make my coffee. I come back. I find the 20 comments from the Muslims. Christian Prince, why you don't show us Ibn Kathir? Anyone? Here we go. We will do nothing today except reading Ibn Kathir. Who want to do it? Promise. If we can find a brave Muslim who is willing to take over Ibn Kathir and we read together so we can have a very nice comedy show. Who is even Ibn Kathir? Guys, look at this idiot. He is the one who posts for me why you don't show Ibn Kathir and now he's saying to me who is even Ibn Kathir? 
<laughs> Unbelievable. Aren't you the one who said to me, read Ibn Kathir? And now you are saying to me, who is Ibn Kathir? Now you don't want Ibn Kathir. Okay, so let me ask you, uh, 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 Fadi. As long as Ibn Kathir is no one, so why you Muslims cannot explain the Quran for us? Can you? And you quote for me saying, "Afala <laughs> yatadabbaroon al Quran." That verse alone is a disaster, my friend. Do you know what you just said? You just said that Allah said. Why nobody can understand my book? Let us read together and love. This is can be found in two chapters in the Quran. Chapter 4, verse number 82. Chapter 47, verse number 24. If this book not from Allah, you will find a lot of contradictions. Well, just yesterday, guys, do you remember what the contradiction was yesterday we showed you? Do you remember? Do you remember? Allah do not remember the order of his creation. In one chapter, he says he created the, the earth and everything in the earth, and then he went to the sky and he made them seven skies. And then the last thing he created was the lamp. And then the other chapter saying the opposite. The first thing he finished, it was the sky. He created the lamp. He created the day. He created the night. And then he went to the earth and he started working in the earth. And the funny, the Quran says too, that Allah, he made the book with the great details. So why you need Ibn Kathir? The great details in front of us saying that Allah created the angels two and the three and four wings. That is the great details of Allah. Show me where Allah, he says that Jibreel have 600 wings. You say, let me show you what the, what the Muslim says. <coughs> uh. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Let us see. Chapter 35. The Muslim they said that Ibn Ibn Kathir, a, a Christian prince, don't you see what it says in the verse? Okay, what it says the verse? It says that and he increases in his creation what he pleased. Okay. But nowhere in the verse it says he will increase the numbers of the wings. However, let us go with this. Let us go with this stupid verse just to show you how silly is the answer if the one who gave this verse is Jibreel himself and Jibreel at that time he have how many wings if he have 600 wings that means this verse is outdated because Allah he said he created angels with wings as the following two and three and four and if he increases, that should be in the future. But in the time where Jibreel, he delivered this to Muhammad, already he have 600 wings. <laughs> Guys, do you understand what I'm saying? If the one who delivered the verse itself is Jibreel, and in the second he delivered the verse, he is saying that Allah created angels with two and the three and four wings. Okay. So that's mean at that moment, the angels of Allah has two and the three and four. Otherwise, if there is having 600, that's mean this verse is stupid and it's a fool. It's a lie. Because this is not an accurate number. So what the point saying to us, I created angels with two and three and four, but yet there is none of them have two and none of them have three and none of them have four. And the one which Muhammad he saw, the only one he saw, it is the one with 600 wings. So what is the point of saying to us, I created angels with two wings and three wings and four wings and how an angel can have three wings? What is the third wing between in his belly? In his back, like a fish? So the answer is very silly. 
if you go to Ibn Kathir in Arabic, not in English, you will see the English, they say to you, and he increased, and he meant that by the wings. But in the same of Ibn Kathir, he says he increased by beautiful voices. Beautiful what? Voices. Shall we go to Ibn Kathir, brother? Shall we? Who is the Muslim when I call me? Any Muslim? May they, may they, may they. Ibn Kathir, by the way, Ibn Kathir, he is a lot more educated than the other scholars. Because Ibn Kathir, he made his books to defend Islam. Ibn Kathir, he lived, lived, lived in Damascus, and he is surrounded by a Christian Syrian who they are extremely educated. And they were making fun of the stupid cult of Islam. So Ibn Kathir, he did not make his books really to explain Islam as much he made his books to defend Islam. But Ibn Kathir, he got his prophet busted. So let us see who is the one who accept Ibn Kathir. Final call. Who is the one would like to call me and to talk about Ibn Kathir? Anyone? May they, may they. Anyone? Anyone here accept the challenge? The topic is Ibn Kathir, as you requested Muslims, and we will read from Ibn Kathir. May they, may they. Uh, Chabu Dimbambu, are you a Muslim, my friend? Chabu Dimbambu, or you are just uh, joking? Let me open my pal talk and see if we can get any Muhammadan to call. <coughs> Here we go, we are logging in. In Paltok. All right, bingo, we are in. Who is the Muslim want to call us? <laughs> there is a Muslim kid, his name is uh, 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 what's his name? Nader Ahmad. <laughs> he is texting me in Paltok. Guys, because we are desperately looking for a Muslim, I will accept to call him. Hold on. Just wait. You see when what happened when you uh, you are out of uh, out of uh, money, <laughs> you accept pennies. Let us call him. Ah. I look like this is an old message, a potato. All right, it says he is not online. Okay, let us see who is online. Um, okay. Okay, this guy is a Muslim guy. He have a questions for me. He is not online too. You see, we are calling them one by one. All right. I can challenge you. All right. Uh, he is using older version of Paltok. Okay, this guy using older version of Paltok. Let us see this one. All right, we are out of them. Anyone? Who is a Muslim would like to call?
Hello? Who is a Muslim would like to call? You cannot. No one can call you. I am calling them. Don't be stupid. And if nobody can call me unless I add him, you just text me and I'm calling you back. So stop making excuse. I can call you. And here we go. I, I called every single person who texted me. So why you don't text me and I will call you? Just text me, say, hey, call me. All right? All right, we have a guy. Here we go. Here we go. See, we are calling you, Potato. It says that you have an older version of uh, Paltok. Do you see it? Older version of Paltok. You are just being a fool. Go update your Paltok. Do you see it or no? Who's next? <clears throat> Hello? Your, uh, your uh, Skype is Shakarita? Okay, why you don't call me in uh, Paltok, Mr. Shakarita? Why you are calling me Paltok? Is ultimate true? Shakarita, let us look for Shakarita. It says outgoing current core rejected. Let us see. Rejected. Let us see this guy uh, true thing. <clears throat> what was your name? Nasty Susu, is that you? Hey guys, what he said his name in, in Palto? Ultimate Truth? I don't see your name. Hold on. Okay, okay, here we go. I've, we've, we found someone, his name is Ultimate Truth. Uh, text me, text me ultimate truth. Give me a text. Text me, kid. <coughs> All right. Uh, ultimate, you did not text me. <clears throat> they said to me, we just updated. You did not update anything. Let us see this guy. All of them, they suffer from the same problem. I don't know what the problem. Uh, ultimate, are you going to text me or what? Hey, Champo, Diambo, I called you. You are an idiot. You want to see how many times I called you? Okay, hold on. Look, uh, Champo, Diambo, the, the, the Lula, Nalula. Do you see how many times I called you? It says, out call is rejected. That's mean you are the one is rejecting my call, you potato. Do you see it? So don't play a hero. 
We got you busted already before even we speak to you. Why you are rejecting my call? Here we go. I'll call you live right now. See, it says I would call rejected. <laughs> And I added to my list too. So stop being a kid. Now who is next? Jumbo Jumbo. Ultimate, where are you? Why you don't text me, potato? Look at them. You know, text me, call me, text me, call me, and here we go. We cannot find them. Who is the brave Muslim wanna call me? He's saying he did not get a call. Okay, you call me. Call me. Here we go. I will put your life in the front of everybody. And let us see. Call me. Hmm. Answer me. Here we go. Call. It's life. Everybody see everything in the screen. Give me a call. And you are on my list already. Where is this kid, the ultimate? Why he don't text? Who is next? See? I call him, it says call rejected. Hello? Anyone? So now if I log off, they will say, okay, it's Christian Prince, and you know, la, 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 he don't want to read Ibn Kathir. We have Ibn Kathir in front of us. Who want to do it? Yeah, even if they are kids, we give them a chance to talk to us. It's okay. Put yourself in the shoes of a Muhammadan. And his God, he says silly stuff and everybody is laughing. So what he would do? He would go crazy. I understand. Now, did Allah say that the angels are two and three and four as wings? So why Muhammad, he says he saw the angel Jibreel with 600 wings. Some of you, they said that because the verse saying Allah, he increase, but Allah, he increases, that is for the future. Otherwise, the verse is stupid because if Jibreel already have 600 wings, that's mean Allah did not mention to us the accurate number. And there's a huge difference between saying they have two and the three and four and somebody have 600 wings. Why about why Allah didn't say, okay, the guy who is delivering the verse already, he have 600 wings. So why he did not say that in the Quran? Obviously, Muhammad, he forgot what he, you know, he said before in the Quran. Any Muslim would like to speak to me? Okay, you know what? I'm going to make an exception today, and I'm going to open Skype. I told you I don't, I don't want to use Skype, but just for today, just because we want to we want to hear a Muslim. You know, they are claiming they cannot call me here for some reason. So, what about we open Skype? Do they have an excuse anymore? They don't. Okay, here we go. Let me open Skype. <laughs> This is how much we uh, we are looking for Muslims to, to answer us, but we, we cannot find them, sadly. They are heroes just in the chat. Okay, my Skype is open now. Who is the beautiful Muslim or the handsome Muslim I will call us? Hey, by the way, I'm not making fun. Uh, the beautiful and handsome, this is what Muhammad described. Muhammad, he said that a Muslim woman, she should not shave her mustache 
And a Muslim man, he should shave, shave his uh, uh, mustache. So you know, you tell me who is beautiful and who is handsome. Have you ever heard of a religion? I mean, what the what kind of a prophet he says? Women, she should not shave her hair or take hair from her face. And if she do so, Allah will curse her. All right, my Skype is open. Who wanna call me? Give me your name. I will call you. So in Pal Talk you will not call. Okay, what about Skype? Anyone? Hello? I mean, come on, we are wasting time. You know, I accepted your challenge and now you don't want to do anything. What's happening? <clears throat> Anyone? Abdul are driving, okay. Well, I don't know well, what you will do. I open Pal Talk and I know I open, I open Skype. So, what we will do next? Open the Skype for them? You know, I am in right now in Skype. Here we go. It says start a conversation. Who want to start a conversation with me? Hmm? My Skype is on. Give me your name. I will find you and I will call you. Don't worry. So that's it. You made us come here and make a challenge and I'm waiting for you and call us and etc. And why Christian friends don't read Ibn Kathir. And then when uh, Chambo, Chambo uh, Dumbo, give me your Skype. I will, I will call you. Give me, give me your Skype. Give me your Skype. I will find your name and I will call you. Give me your Skype name. Your name is Chambo Bam Chambo Mambo. Okay, is that a is that a Quranic thing? All right, hold on. Let me find your name and I will call you. <coughs> All right, here we go. Say hi. We said hi to you, Mr. Chambo Mambo, and we call you. Hello. Yes, Mr. Chambo Mambo. Oh, how are you, CP? I'm fine. How about you? Yes, thank you very much. Thank okay, so what do you want to say to us, Mr. Sh You're very excited. What do you think about the Quran saying the angels have two wings and three wings and four wings? Absolutely normal. Why not? This uh, Each angel has an, his own skin. Oh, okay. But the Quran says that there is only two and a three and four. So do you agree with that? I agree, absolutely. Okay, yes. how an angel, why oh, the angel have three wings, where are they? Can you draw an image and, for and, us? And in his back. Oh, in where, his back. Where? So two wings, one in the right, one in the left, and one in his back, maybe in his neck. No, in the middle. Oh, okay, in the middle. Okay, what about your prophet saying that uh, the angel Jibreel have 600 wings? Because he's uh, uh, unique. He's, he's a unique angel, yes. Yeah, but uh, Allah did not say that there's any unique angel. He says, my angels have two and three and four. But the Imam says this. What the Imam said? My Imam said he's a unique angel. So who was your Imam who said that? You follow the Quran or you follow the Imam? Both. Of and what is what is unique about him? And how you say? Okay, hold on. Allah is the one who described for us the angels. The, your Imam described them from where? Uh, he said from the from the Hadith. 
okay which okay. Had, okay what is the hadith says that uh, 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 what the hadith is saying can you can you help me yes i don't have yet now the chapter but he say uh, he's unique and he has his he is different between the other angels yes okay uh, we got we got that but we, like why why jibril have six stranded wings when allah he says my angels have a three and four and, and two and a three and four and that's it you see, uh, why if, if, if why a, a, a unique, unique should not go out of the numbers of the angels with, or the, the, the wings which Allah He decide. So because Allah He Allah. said, Allah He said that they are they are two and three and four and four and that's it. Did Allah say six hundred? Did Allah say one hundred? Did Allah say twenty? Allah He said that no, they are either two why, or three or four. No, but why He should say that? He well, why He should say one. anyway? Okay, why He should say two and three and four then? You know, if he if he should not say it, he should not say it at all. Then, but he already mentioned that my angels, I created them. They are either two or three or four wings they have. So why he should say that? You ask your God Allah. As long he mentioned the number, then he gave us the number. If he did not mention the number, then we cannot say why uh, why why Jibril have six hundred wings. But as long he mentioned that I am the one who created angels, and those angels they have two and three and four wings. That's it. That's mean his angels yeah. are two and three and four. Now, during okay. the time during the time Jibreel he delivered the the, uh, the message to Muhammad, the message we saw in the Quran. That message yes. was it was Muhammad uh, Jibreel at that time he have six hundred wings or no? Uh, I don't. You don't know? No, no. Hmm. Do you know a guy? His name is Gigi Gigi. What is this? Prophet Gigi uh, from the Quran. <laughs> yeah, it's from Quran. <laughs> no, not from the Quran. <laughs> no, no, I don't. This, I'm not this. Okay, you don't. So you do not know Prophet Gigi. No, no I don't know this Gigi Miji. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now, what do you want to say to us, Gigi? <laughs> oh boy. Who is a Muslim when I call me? Who is a Muslim having an answer for anything? I mean, what's wrong with you Muslims? If you want to say to us that the Quran is saying that Allah, He have the power of all things and He increase, well, that is stupid because the Quran, when Allah, He delivered this verse, He delivered it by Jibreel. So how did Jibreel have 600 wings at that time and yet Allah is saying to Muhammad an, an outdated news that my angels have two and three and four wings. Actually, if, if this is really what happened to Muhammad, Muhammad, he should not accept Jibreel to be an angel from Allah because Allah, he just told him my angels, they should have two or three or four. <laughs> Who is next? Anyone? Anyone? Hello? Now, as long as you Muslims, you go for Ibn Kathir and you like Ibn Kathir, let us laugh with Ibn Kathir, shall we? Ibn Kathir. Hmm. Ibn Kathir. He increases wings and create them as he wills where it says that in the verse nowhere and if you read the other scholars they say even by the way Ibn Kathir in English is not the same as Ibn Kathir in Arabic Ibn Kathir in Arabic he added and, and it, it says let me show you that this is about the beauty of the voice of the angels where is the Ibn Kathir in Arabic brother here we go Look how Ibn Kathir in Arabic is different from Ibn Kathir in English. Yazidu fil khalqi ma yasha yani hasan al-sawt Translation Why Ibn Kathir in English is not the same as in Arabic. The translation here is kind of funny. It says, 
uh, and the day uh, after the mouth of the mouth began with the day this is stupid it says here that Allah he create cre you know, and he make him with the beautiful voice so Ibn Kathir he is trying to find out how Allah messenger he said that the angel have 600 wings but the Quran saying two and three and four so he is just giving his opinion and he himself is not sure if you open for different interpretation they give you two or three different interpretation and there is no reference for what Ibn Kathir is saying that Allah he increased the, 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 the number of the wings no reference whatsoever can, can you show me a hadith where Muhammad says that nowhere however as long you take Ibn Kathir for granted what about we take Ibn Kathir for granted shall we let us see what Ibn Kathir he says Ibn Kathir explained to us tons of things in the Quran as an example Ibn Kathir he explained how the Quran describe the day and the night how they are exist Allah he merged the night onto the day meaning he takes from the night and add to the day <laughs> So that the day becomes longer and the night becomes shorter, which what happened in summer when the days are longest. <laughs> then the days start to become shorter. Okay. Now let us see more. He have more explanation. And he has subjugated the sun and the moon, each running in its course for a term appointed. It was said that this is mean each runs, which is its last limit. Uh, uh, sorry, it's li set limits or it's mean until the day of resurrection. All right, let us continue more. Abu Dhar, the prophet said to Abu Dhar, Do you know where the sun goes? Abu Dhar, he says, Allah and his messenger knows best. Remember, this is Ibn Kathir, not me. Hello, okay. He said, It goes and prostrate beneath the throne. Then it take permission from the Lord, it will be soon go back where it's where, where once you come. Ibn Abi Hatim recorded from Ibn Abbas that the sun is like a flowing water running in its courses or course in the sky during the day when it set it to travel in its course beneath the earth until it rises in the east <laughs> this is Ibn Kathir the one you are asking me you are challenging me to read now if we say to them do you accept Ibn Kathir they will say no this is naif here we go it's and not only that he says and it's a chain's narration is sahih he said and the same is it true in the case of the moon so the moon go to under the earth where the sun goes under the earth where the moon goes under the earth and he is saying that his chain is sahih are you there Muhammadan you want me to read Ibn Kathir I'm reading Ibn Kathir is that Ibn Kathir or this is his cousin hmm anyone the Quran says that Allah he created from the earth seven seven earth where are these seven earth it is Allah who has created seven heaven and the earth the same number this is Quran and Ibn Kathir do we have any Muslim <clears throat> let us continue reading Ibn Kathir we cannot stop here all right <clears throat> and he has subjugated the sun the moon and the stars and the planets with their light all of them run to their appointed course and in the manner uh, prescribed for them as decreed by the almighty all-knowing okay each run in its course uh, a term appointed means enter the day of resurrection that's wonderful <coughs> let us go to the hot stuff all right okay let us jump to the second page
you make the night enter into the day and you make the day enter into the night meaning you take from the length of it you know he said that already in the previous uh, 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 verse so nothing nothing new here okay let us go to other one. Oh, oh this one is horrible here Allah explained that the Sun never reach the moon and the moon never reach the Sun which means they never meet in the same time which means daytime is going to be daytime and nighttime is going to be nighttime it is not for the Sun to overtake the moon Mujahid said each of them has limit which is does not transgress or fall short of when the time of one comes the other one goes away <laughs> this is Ibn Kathir this is Ibn Kathir this is not me see the other one goes away when the Sun comes the other one goes away which is which is the other one the moon when the moon come the Sun goes brother this is who Ibn Kathir this is the one you like okay and when the time for for one to prevail comes the time of the other two sees Okay, You're, you have your turn, I may have turn. Okay. And it's not for the sun to overtake the moon. It means each of them has a, has its time when it's prevailed. So it's not uh, appropriate for the sun to rise at night. Do you see it, Muslims? This is Ibn Kathir. Your religion teach that the sun is not rising at night is that true but the sun is there what night this is because of the earth going around itself so the Quran teaching us fiction about how the cycle of the day and the night happening claiming that the day and the night it's an object they are a, they are a person and the moon is a person and the sun is a person and everybody have has a duty and they will not meet each other let us continue nor does the night outstrip the day means after the night has passed is not right for the another night to come under the right <laughs> guys it is not right it's not right it's not appropriate for other night to come other night what do you mean other night to come until it had been a day like one from us one from you one from us one from you the authority of the Sun during the day and the authority of the moon at the night so guys there's two two objects one it's called night one it's called authority oh sorry sun and one of them has authority over the day and the other one have authority over the night that's it uh at the hack said the night does not depart uh here until the day comes from there <laughs> from here <laughs> this is Ibn Kathir <laughs> this is Ibn Kathir the one you are challenging me to read Hello? Is it this is Ibn Kathir? You are challenging me to read? Okay, let us continue. Nor does the night outstrip the day. They seek one another rapidly. The meaning that no gap between the night and the day. Each one of them follows the other with an inter interval because they have been subjugated and both are constantly pursuing uh, one another and now look here what he said the verse says what does that mean he says Ibn Kathir not Christian Prince don't say Christian Prince he said that it's not me they float each in an orbit means the night the day the Sun the moon all of them are floating I saw Zachary Naik saying about this verse he says Brother Theta, the Quran said, and each of them is the flying in the airport. And this is absolutely correct. According to the scientists and according to NASA, every one of those planets have its own orbit. How the Quran knew the orbit? Brother, the Quran is saying that the orbit is the destiny, is not the orbit as you claim. And the night and the day, and the moon and the sun are floating swimming actually the, in Arabic it says yes bahoon which means they swim you see if you go and read the old ancient uh, legions you will see that the moon is taking a ship the Sun is riding different ship so 
every planet have a ship because they used to believe that they are swimming. And this is exactly what the Quran is using here. And look what Ibn Kathir is saying, explaining this verse. Saying means the night and the day. What, what, what? He did not say the moon and the sun first. He said the night and the day. Read with me carefully. Night and the day. The sun and the moon. All of them are floating. I.e. revolving in their orbit in the heaven. Any Muslim? <coughs> if there is something called day and night, they are floating in orbit, Muslims? Any Muslim want to say something? <coughs> Does the day and the night float in an orbit? In the heaven? Brother? Let us continue. Are we done? No. Today we are going to have fun with Ibn Kathir. Let us see more of Ibn Kathir. I cannot wait. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> uh, we showed you this one that he is saying that the sun goes under the earth. <laughs> Let us go to a different verse. <clears throat> Ibn Kathir, as you wish. You see, here we customers come first. Muslims, they wanted Ibn Kathir, we give them Ibn Kathir. Chapter 86, verse 1 to 10, it says, So let the man see how, or, or see from what he is created. Is a, a alerting man to weakness of his origin, which was created, the in, intent of it, is, uh, is to guide men to accept the reality and hereafter because whoever etc blah 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 okay now let's go to business he created you from water he created from water gushing forth meaning a sexual of fluids comes out bursting forth from the man and the women so a human being is a created from a sexual of fluid gushing forth gushing forth Brusting forth, that is something come out, not inside the body. From the man and the women, Muslims, what is the sexual fluid gushing forth outside of the body of the women will make the baby have uh, exist? Who is the Muslim want to help me here? Any Muslim want to help us? What is the gushing fluid of the woman which is coming out of her body will make a baby? Women, she have a sperm? Anyone? Who is a Muslim agree with Ibn Kathir? Hello? Who is a Muslim agree with Ibn Kathir? So you asked me to read Ibn Kathir, we are reading Ibn Kathir, what's wrong with you? Aren't you proud no more? What we would do now? So you asked me to read Ibn Kathir and why I am hiding Ibn Kathir and now you don't want Ibn Kathir. Is that a strike day? Hello? Hmm? <clears throat> okay, let us continue. يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلْبِ وَالتَّرَائِبِ Okay, it's a sexual fluid coming from where? <clears throat> from Bain Sulb what the right? What does that mean? Translation, please. Ibn Kathir translating, not me. Ibn Kathir is in Arabic. This is a translation of Ibn Kathir. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. The Muslim tried to fool you to say, Oh, it's saying that the sexual fluid come from the neck down to the, the down to the backbone. <laughs> 
I mean, what is left of the body, buddy? I'm so glad you did not say it come from my nose. All the way. actually, Arazi, he said that according to him, the sperm of the man come from the brain. From where? From the brain? Ah, this is why men always thinking about sex, brother. From the brain. Are you sure? I remember once there was a guy, a Muslim kid, he wrote an article. His name is says as a Turi Faturi, something like this. He said, Go and read Arazi. He made a video. And I went to Arazi and I got him busted. And the guy he never showed up again. Not only that, actually, he said it from Arazi, and some they claim it's coming from the arm. Uh-huh. But look here what Ibn Kathir, let us focus on Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir explaining this verse, saying, meaning the backbone of the man, the sperm coming from what? The backbone of the man, and the, from the ribs of the women. Women have a sperm. And their sperm is coming from their ribs. Now I know a lot of men, they like to eat ribs. Why? I was wondering why. You go out in America, everybody is making ribs barbecue. Ribs, uh, the, the, you know, like uh, uh, like uh, fancy food, supposedly. And now I know what the ribs issue. Women, they, uh, once I was walking walking down the street, la, 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 And I was alone in the beach, brother. And I saw a woman, a brother, she have something white in her chest. At that time, I was naive. I was not reading the knowledge of the Quran. But after reading this, brother, I noticed that this woman, she was having masturbation. Because this is her sperm. But how I know, brother? I was naive at that time, brother. I was not educated. I did not read the Quran. Any Muslim want to say something? This is Ibn Kathir, not me. Hey, Ibn Kathir people. Hello? Anyone? Man, I'm afraid to get married. You get married, you go to the bedroom, your wife, she take off her clothes and say, instead of seeing two breasts, you see two testicles there. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> so women, they have a sperm, Abdul. And not only Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir is, is, a, is a victim. The one who said that really is Muhammad. Let us see what Muhammad he said. Hey, by the way, there's a hadith here is about <laughs> the size of the angel of Allah. Guys, look at this. It has been permitted to, to me to tell Muhammad speaking to of Allah angel who bear the witness that the, the throne Allah is, is, is there are his angels carrying the throne the distance between the loop of their ear and his shoulder is a journey of 700 years <laughs> uh, 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 Abdul uh, the angel he have ears and the loop, he have a loop of his ears, and the distance between his loop of his ears and his shoulder is 700 years. So how this angel was squeezing Muhammad? <laughs> let it go, let it go. <laughs> okay. The messenger of Allah said, <coughs> excuse me, uh, too much excitement. The Messenger of Allah said, the water of the man is thick and white, and the women water is thin and yellow. When Muhammad, he says water, and the Quran says water, what the Muslim, they say? It's a sperm. Sperm, hello? Okay. So, Muhammad's claiming that from the water of the women, which she see in her vagina when she have orgasm, that is where the baby coming. From the water of the man, which is a thick and white, and the water of the women. And whoever comes first is going to be in control of the look and the gender. Who of you agree with the Prophet Muhammad? Anyone? 
No, uh, no. The, the the reason I think Muhammad is speaking about women, they have a water uh, which is yellow. I think because they have infection. You know, I think uh, he never met a woman. She don't, or maybe he made her infected, because obviously this is kind of infection. Why women? She have a, actually. I was reading this for long, but but I don't know anything about about those stuff. As you know, I'm very naive of those things. But then one of you told me that uh, women, women, uh, if they have infection only, that the color there will be uh, yellow. Actually, there's different hadith that says the following, which is approving this uh, uh, infection story. <clears throat> Let us see if we can find it. And here you notice, you know, uh, That Muhammad women obviously they have infections. Look, all their discharge is yellowish. Look at this. Even their uh, uh, menses has something wrong. One of the wives of Allah, Apostle, joined in a tikaf, supposed he was praying, and she noticed a blood and yellowish discharge coming from her. Beep. You see, they here they are saying private part. But in Arabic, it doesn't say private part, trust me. It says that word. And then she put a dish under her when she prayed. I mean, look at the news, guys. Everybody have to know now. 1.4 billion Muslims, they are going to know what happened to the private part of the wife of the prophet. This is very important. Have Everybody have to know. I mean, <laughs> imagine if the wives of the prophet at that time, they have Facebook. Ding, tweet, tweet, tweet from the wife of Aisha. She is tweeting. Once of the wives of the Prophet Apostle joined him in Tikaf and she did notice the blood, the yellow was discharged from them the private part, and then she put a dish and they prayed. And then the Muslims they will give a like and they will spread the tweet everywhere. Share a book, share a like, 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 share and like, share a like, please. I mean, what's what is this? But this is telling us the quality of the household of Muhammad. What kind of people those people are? to talk about what's happening to their vagina publicly. You know what I mean? So here, you notice too, again, why the women she have a yellowish discharge? I'm not a doctor. If there's anyone who's a doctor here? Anyone? At, by the way, I can work as a doctor. I have a friend, he, is a, he do haircut in the Middle East. He work as a doctor as part-time. Hmm? Okay, we go back to the topic. <clears throat> Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir. So what do you say, Muslims? Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman, it's a fluid, yellow and fine in texture, and the child will not be born except from both, i.e. their sexual fluid. <laughs> Amni Kathir is my best guidance to Allah. Hmm? We open uh, Skype only as an exception. <clears throat> that looked like nobody is calling. I don't want to use Skype actually, but just to show you all that they are not what they claim. Anyone? Hello? Anyone? Okay, what about an angel with, with the three wings? <laughs> <coughs> Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Or what about we read for you the story of Suleiman? Shall we? The story of Suleiman will drive you not, brother, from Ibn Kathir. Brother, you will love it, brother. Ibn 
If you go to Emikathir in English, you will find nothing the same as Ibn Kathir in Arabic. And this is why I say, never trust or learn Islam from Islamic translation. I will give you an example. If we go to chapter 38, actually any chapter is all of them is the same. But let us see this chapter. If we go to chapter 38 and try to find interpretation for verse uh, 34, as an example. This is what it says in this interpretation. But what it is in English have nothing to do what it is in Arabic. Any Muslim can tell us why the English translation of Ibn Kathir have nothing to do with the Arabic translation of Ibn Kathir? Anyone? Why is story different? <clears throat> Any Mohammedan want to say something to us? Why we cannot find the story which is in the Arabic book of Ibn Kathir in the English translation? I will tell you why. Because the translator, because he is ashamed of what is written in Ibn Kathir, he cut more than 80 to 90 percent of the stories. Anyone have a comment from the Muhammadan? This is Ibn Kathir in Arabic for the same page. Chapter Sod, verse number 34. Okay. And this is the interpretation in Arabic. Line by line, we cannot find what is written in Arabic in the English website. Anyone can tell me why? Why? Here is speaking about a genie, his name is Sakhar. And this genie, Shaitan, he used to go and bring water from a spring of water in the sea once every seven days. And then the water of this spring turn into wine. And this is how wine came to existence. <laughs> but where we can find this story here? Both are the book of Ibn Kathir. Where is the story here? We cannot find it. Let us see if we can translate this page. <clears throat> To English okay that's good well English translation is not really good in, go in Google but better than nothing you see how different the, the, the interpretation between this and that supposedly we are translating exactly the same book the same chapter the same verses in the Quran of Ibn Kathir but what is written in Ibn Kathir have nothing with what is written in the translation of Ibn Kathir in the Muslim website. Hmm? Solomon, he was building in Jerusalem and he said to him, the sun does not hear the sound of iron. <laughs> and he said, he asked for what? For that he could not estimate. <laughs> and then he said, there's a devil in the sea, Shaitan. His name is Rock. Rock and Roll. And he is a semi-genie. <laughs> I like Google translation. It's very funny. And he asked him, 
and he was appointed in the sea. He returned to every seven days to the seas. Uh, there, as I said, there is a water spring in the sea, and he returned there every seven days. And one day, he returned to that spring of water. And then, uh, when he went there, the water is not water no more. It became wine, brother. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where we can find this in this website? This is Ibn Kathir and this is Ibn Kathir. Why we cannot find what is written in English in Ibn Kathir in this website in what is written in the Arabic form of Ibn Kathir? I will tell you why. Because you are trying to hide it, brother. Brother. And then, uh, so he went back thirsty, brother, because it's wine, brother. Uh, and he said, well, you know what? This is your, uh, your, this is your good drink. <laughs> and then, brother, he said, I saw the ring or seal between his shoulders. It was humiliated. He said, I'm reading, I'm reading the funny translation of Google. Uh, Anyway, like, you know, uh, here you will see how Shaitan, he found the wine in the, in the spring of water. The water became wine. And then there is a bird. It's called the hoop hoop. And this hoop hoop, he have eggs, brother. And they are like diamond, the hoop hoop eggs. What is this in the Ibn Kathir in English? We cannot find it. All this madness, fairy tale stories, we cannot find it in Ibn Kathir in English. This is in the Arabic book. What do you say, Muslims? Or what about we go? Oh, I cannot find Ibn Kathir in English too, where he speak about Allah cursing Venus. Is that right? But I was able to find that in different book, which is taken from Ibn Kathir. You know, the same story in Ibn Kathir. Let me see if I can find it. Here we go, here we go. <clears throat> brother, brother, here is the wisdom of Islam. Brother. Any one of you have the, the link for the uh, wise Suleiman? He was die, he died standing. And the reason he did not fail down because the, uh, he fell down after a while because the termite ate his stick. Let us read here. <clears throat> um, Suleiman army was about 100 uh, blah 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 which mean is equal to 3,500 mile long. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't you think this army is so small, man? The army of Suleiman, the long of it, the length of it is a 3,500 mile. This is just the length. And the brother, 25% of it were a human. 25% of it are shaitan, genie. 25% of them, they are animal, desert animal. And 25% are birds. <laughs> I'm really convinced I want to convert to Islam. <laughs> ah, unbelievable. This is so beautiful. This is, uh, I know kids will love it. I mean, all the kids now will convert to Islam. What is this, man? This is, uh, this is Islam? This is what your Muslims believe? Yeah, this is what they believe. This is what they believe. Okay. He have 1,000 houses of a glass. From a glass. Suleiman, he have 1,000 houses of a glass. <laughs> so Suleiman, when he take off his clothes, everybody watch. <laughs> Thank God my house is not from a glass. I will be arrested second day. <laughs> the neighbor, they were reported me exposing myself, brother. When I go, you can take a shower. <laughs> 
1,000 houses made of glass. And they were, and, and, uh, and uh, were made above wood. In them, 300 wives and 700 slave girls. Suleimani used to order strong winds to lift the house in order a soft wind to move the house slowly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying here. I better stop. So the guy, Suleiman, you know, he, like he wanna have a swing now. Like whiz, whiz, the house is moving, you know. So he, what he do? Hey, wing, wind, hey, wind, move the house slowly. And the wind starts shaking the house slowly, left and right, left and right, left and right. Come tomorrow, left and right. Enter Suleiman. He sleeps. I mean, what is that? Therefore, Allah revealed to him when he was between the heaven and earth, I have increased your kingship in such a way that anybody speaks. If any part of your kingdom, the wind will make his conversation reach toward you. If, 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 if. Anyone speak anywhere in his kingdom, the wind will make carry will carry brother the, the words to Suleiman and he will hear it. This is what it's called the cell phone of Suleiman. And you are telling me Islam is not high tech. You speak in any place of the kingdom of Suleiman, the wind will make your voice carry it and go to Suleiman. And Suleiman, he listened to it. True story. What is this? This is what you want us to read? And this is why you are accusing us we are hiding? We are not hiding, it's here, we are laughing. Okay, let us read more. <clears throat> At that time, brother, what, what, what Suleiman would eat for a breakfast? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let us see the kitchen of Suleiman. The kitchen of Suleiman is also used to be with him having large vessels in which at the time, at a time, 100 camels could be cooked in the front of their, uh, 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 of there was a ground. I don't, what does that mean? Uh, for a, a, a quarter beds. I don't understand this word, sorry, you know, I don't know. My English doesn't help me, brother. Where they used to graze. Uh, chiefs were busy in cooking, and the uh, uh, artisan busy in their craft, and the horses were tied in front of him. I mean, and the basat, the basat, uh, supposedly this is not translated, this is the flying carpet of Suleiman, was a flying, brother. They have a flying carpet, you know that, right? Uh, on the day he traveled from the outer skirt of Shiraz toward Yemen, he went from Shiraz all the way from Shiraz. <laughs> this guy is coming from Yemen, from, from Iran, and it passed Medina, Medina, the city of Medina, and next to Jeddah. You know, uh, this is the place of Hijrah, the last prophet. Oh, so the man he been told, they told him here, here the Hijrah, Muhammad, he will go here. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Should I read all of it? Yeah, you, you guys, you will sleep. Huh? I mean, if you read all of this. But let us see. I want to see where, where, where Shaitan having sex with the wives of Suleiman. Oh, hold on, hold on. This is not important now. I want to see how Allah, he sent down two angels. Their name is Harut and Marut. And they had sex with the women. Anyone remember her name? Anyone remember her name? The women. Venus. The story of Venus is adopted in Islam. Supposedly, Venus is a very beautiful woman. And she is very sexy. And you know it. And she came to two angels, which Allah, he sent them through the, the, the tower of the Babylon. And when they came to this earth, 
they saw Venus and they weren't so horny. I mean, put yourself in their shoes. Venus waiting in front of you. And like you say to yourself, I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. And you cannot stop looking, man. I mean, so, so beautiful. So they ask her to take off her panties. Venus, she said, I will not take off my panties unless you do things for me. They said to her, what do you want? She said, I want the password to go to heaven. What? Venus, she wanted the password to go to heaven. And then she wanted them to worship a God beside Allah. And when she took off her panty, a guy, he came to the tent and he saw them. And she said to them, this guy is going to tell everybody about what you did with me. So go and kill him. So Harut and Marut, they killed the guy. I'm just making the story short for you. The story is here. You know, if you want to read the story, it's all of here, you know. You, you, you want to read all of it? I mean, come on, guys. What's wrong with you? You want me to read all of this? I mean, it's not even fair. It's, it's, a, it's not right. <laughs> Let us see where, where the name of Venus will appear. Hold on. <clears throat> Venus, uh, look like the name of Venus is not appearing here. What they call it is Zuhra, Zuhra, aha, uh -huh, uh, Zuhra. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, firstly, in the book of uh, La 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 La, okay, it says, uh, from Zuhra, no, this is not the one. Okay, hold on, hold on. Here is the story about Suleiman having sex with 70 women. Only one she gave birth and he was deformed because he forgot to say, inshallah. You remember the story? This was from Muhammad. Right? True story too. Okay. Oh... <clears throat> uh, I mean, tons of stories here, but I'm trying to find. Where is the story of Azura? Anyone have the link? Anyway, you can find it. I mean, the story of when she have sex with Harut and Marut. I'm not sure if it is in this same page because the page is long. Harut and Marut. What a religion. Um, yeah, I can I can look for it for a different time. But anyway. I mean, here, look at the Muslims. They say to us, why you don't read our books? When we read your books, my friend, we find that your books is nothing but a bust. It is horrible. If this is what will make us believe in Islam, you are wrong. Which books you want us to read? The Quran is very funny, full of stupid stories. The Hadith is even more, more crazy. The interpretation is crazy like crazy. So what we will do? Let me see if I can find the, uh, <coughs> the story of Venus. Uh, hold on. <coughs> or oh, here the story of the ring of Suleiman. Anyone remember what happened to Suleiman according to uh, the Muslim interpretation? Suleiman, he have a very powerful ring. By the way, I used to have that ring too, but I lost it. And I made the same mistake happening to Suleiman. Look what happened to Suleiman. Suleiman, he have his ring, which Allah, he installed inside it, the same as the Lord of the Ring, the movie. He put all the power of Allah inside that ring. And that ring will make Suleiman control everything. The genie, shaitan, even the Quran says that shaitan, they dive for Suleiman. 
Yeah, brother, they died for Shaitash Suleiman, and they built for him synagogue which have statues too. I thought statues in Islam is haram. Look what the Quran is saying. Hold on. Let us go to the Quran. <coughs> Chapter 38, verse number 37. You can read Ibn Kathir here, and you will see that how Allah He made, uh, gave uh, Suleiman a flying carpet, and He put in the top of it all His kingdom, horses, camels, uh, and in the top of the flying carpet, there's 600,000 chairs. This is just for the human. And then, this is only actually for the cancel of the of, of a prophet Solomon supposedly and then the soldiers and the soldiers as you see this uh, his army was in the length of a three thousand five hundred miles so you can imagine how big the flying carpet the army alone the length of it is a three thousand five hundred mile how where is where we arrive with three hundred five thousand I mean what is the distance between USA and Europe I mean 3,500 mile this is the distance between what more than the distance from France from from Paris to 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 Mecca I think it's more I'm not sure what the distance will make it but anyway I mean this is a huge and then in the top of the flying carpet all his kingship is going to be there and then Allah He gave him power to control the shayateen, shaitans, Satan. He worked for Allah for Sulaiman. Some of them they are builders, and some of them they are divers. Now, okay, think about it. Sulaiman, he need he he was rich. Where the money is coming from? Where is the money coming from? He did not own Microsoft, he did not own Amazon. I mean, come on, so Muhammad, he have to come with a solution. Shaitan, brother, they dive in the deep ocean and they bring him diamond and jewelries and pearls, brother. And then Suleiman, he sell them in the market. All right. <clears throat> and then some other shaitan who disobey Suleiman, what happened to them? They are in jail, brother, and they are chained. Do you see it? Do you see the brother? Any Muslim have a comment? Do you really Muslims believe that Shaitan was working for Sulaiman and they are diving to get him jewelries? And then by the way, Shaitan, he took the ring of Sulaiman. He took the ring of Sulaiman. And after he took the ring of Suleiman, I don't know if any of you, if you have a, have the link for uh, um, Ibn Kathir, uh, we can read it. Uh, he took the look of Suleiman too, and he started having sex with his wives. And how the wives of Suleiman they noticed that this is not their husband. Anyone remember? Anyone remember how the wives of Suleiman they noticed that this is not Suleiman? How they noticed? Who knows? Shaitan, he took the ring of Suleiman when he went to the bathroom because Suleiman, he don't take the, the ring of Allah with him to the bathroom. Show more respect. He gave it to his wife. Shaitan come to his wife in the look of Suleiman. He took the ring, he wear it, he became Suleiman. Yeah. So when, Suleim, when, when he took the look of Suleiman, he started sleeping with Suleiman and the real Suleiman was kicked out of the palace. And the wives they notice that the shaitan he is like so good in, the, in bed, like dirigan, 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 dirigan. He never stop. They say to him, husband, can you take a break? He says, no, I'm not tired yet. Dirigan, 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 dirigan,
I mean, this guy is like a gun machine, man. And there is no smoke even coming. So then they reported that to the elders of the kingdom. And this is how Shaitan, he noticed that he got busted. So he decided to run from the palace and then he threw the ring. Where? Anyone remember? Anyone remember he threw the ring where? Where he threw the ring? Nobody remember? Where he threw the ring? You guys are not. In the sea. Uh, thank you. In the sea. Hello. And then Suleiman, he became a person who worked as uh, what they call them, those, uh, the, the putter, the one who carries stuff for you in the, like, uh, in the airport or, you know. So he was working in the seaside and he, he carried for people to live, to make living. So there is a guy, he bought fish. And Suleiman told him, if I carry the fish with you to your home, what you will give me? The guy, he tell him, I will give you a fish. Suleiman, he carry uh, the fish for this guy. When they arrive home, the guy, he keep his promise, he give him a fish. Suleiman, he went and he cleaned the fish to eat it. But when he opened the fish, what he found inside the fish? Let us see how if you will guess what he found inside the fish. Hello? What he found inside the fish? The ring! Hello! Yeah! You! <laughs> mm, the ring! And this is how Suleiman became a king again. This is Islam. This is Islam, the one they are giving you big, uh, you know, like uh, propaganda, science in the Quran, blah, 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 blah. This is what is Islam. Anyone have the link for Ibn Kathir? Let me see if I can find it. You guys are lazy. Uh, we showed it before. <clears throat> Where he threw the ring. The ring. Ta -da 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 -da. <laughs> Now try to find the story of the ring of Suleiman. Uh, anyway, maybe next time we can we can uh, uh, we can mention this ring story with more details. <laughs> <clears throat> and then the story is not over by the way after after uh, shaitan he ran away after he stepped with the wives of Suleiman, but he was got busted because of his sexual ability uh, he went to a very far away island and he put uh uh, he put uh, like what uh, uh, he put uh, lead lead in the top of him because he knew that Suleiman now will search for him and he will arrest him. So look how smart Shaitan. He put a lot of lead in the top of him. So when they try to arrest him, they will not be able to take him there. So Suleiman he sent his army of uh, police uh, MP from Shaitan, Shaitan MP to look for the Shaitan who betray him, and they found him in a far away island. But they found him covering himself with lead and that make it very hard for them to move him but Suleiman he used his power and he made the lead melt and that make them able to arrest shaitan and bring him to Suleiman then Suleiman what he did with him anyone remember Suleiman he captured the shaitan and he put him inside uh, like a uh, uh, a rock like they make a hole in the rock 
and they made him inside the rock all right and uh, then they seal it with uh, with with lead and copper so he cannot leave the rock ever again yeah and this is a true story by the way everything everything uh, is a true story <clears throat> Let's see, I'm trying just to find. Yeah, actually here, in this website here, there is little of the details, but I don't see all the details we are looking for. Like here, Shaitan, it says, Suleiman, he had a slave girl, and you know that you notice that the Muslim books, everyone have his own different details and the names, etc. Uh, Al Almina, whenever he went to the toilet, took off his ring, and he had it covered to, uh, over to her. One day, when he went, a Satan, the leader of Satans, this is not the normal Satan, brother. Just to let you know, okay, this is a leader. <laughs> Like he is the, uh, Nancy Pelosi. All right? <laughs> the head of the Democrat, brother. He came when he was in the bathroom and he gave his ring to his slave girl. So he is the leader of Shaitan of the Seas. This is the Shaitan of the Seas. Okay, the Sea, the Seven Seas. He came with the Feast of Suleiman. Look at this, man. Look at this. Unbelievable. You cannot trust anybody. Hey, hey, uh, uh, guys, if somebody come to you and knock at your door, hey, women, if somebody come to your door and you look like your husband, don't open the door because it might be the, the leader of the shaitan of the seas. Now you have to be sure that this is your husband. So you have to ask him some questions, a quiz, like a quiz, like secret word. What is the proof that you are my husband? uh like what we said yesterday uh, yesterday you said you told me told me why you did not wash the dishes you idiot okay that's mean you are my husband get in and wash the rest of the dishes get in so guys the leader of shaitan of the seas come in the face of Suleiman and took the ring from her and went and sat in the throne all jinn human and animals obeyed him because come on he looked like Suleiman. hello like, come on Suleiman's face was a changed oops not only he took the face of Suleiman Suleiman face a changed too unbelievable <laughs> unbelievable if there's anyone feel like you want to convert to Islam I mean what's wrong with you don't you see the science and the knowledge in here so all those tons of articles about science in the Quran and you made me make two books to, to get you busted with it. The Deception of Allah and Quran and Science and Depth. All those thousands of videos. Why you did not mention to us those amazing miracles? <sighs> Any Abdul? Let us continue, brother. When he came to Amina, the slave, he asked for the ring. She did not recognize him and scolded him and pushed him away. Like, stay away from me. You are not Suleiman, okay? And put yourself in the shoes of that slave girl. She did the right thing. May Allah bless her. <laughs> Suleiman, he don't look like Suleiman no more. Yes, he came from the bathroom of Suleiman, but he don't look like Suleiman. So the woman, she said to him, uh, the slave, uh, stay away from me, okay? You are not Suleiman. May Allah curse you. And now Suleiman, he left the palace. They kick him out from the palace. Suleiman thought, this is due to the sin which was performed in his house by his wife, idol worshipper. Suleiman went to his slave girl and wife, but they did not recognize him and push him away. Suleiman came out, went toward the sea. 
started working with the fishermen on the daily wages. He was, he used to carry fish to their houses. In return, he get two fishes every day. 40 days passed, which was equivalent of 40 days. 40 days passed, which was equivalent of 40 days of idol worship in his house. When Asif uh, uh, and the people of Israel saw the manner of Shaitan different from the behavior of Suleiman, they asked the wives, look, look, look here, guys. Here, the Muslims are trying to hide the story. The elder, they noticed that this is, look, he looked like Suleiman, but he's acting differently. So they come to the wives and they said, uh, <clears throat> They said that he was coming to them even when their period is not even performed gospel. <laughs> this guy is so horny. He want to do it even when they have their period. Hey, by the way, isn't Muhammad used to do the same? Isn't it? Yeah, she used to say that the prophet, he used to order her to put a sheet around her private part and he fondled her. Look like Muhammad is a shaitan too. And then afterward, said that the order of shaitan was accomplished by other except the wives. He could not control his wives, the wives. He could not. Afterward, shaitan threw the ring in the river. And it was found by Suleiman in the fish. He wore it again. And the kingship returned to Suleiman. Hey! Guys, always happy ending is good to finish our video with. So what do you think about this happy ending story? And by the way, here they say in river, as I know it is in the sea, what river? Look, so he captured Shaitan and imprisoned him between two stones and lowered him into the sea. Oof, 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 oof. So now in the deep sea, Shaitan is a prison there between two stones. La hawla, la hawla. What is that? We have a Muslim. Who is the Muslim? Who is the Muslim? Where is the Muslim? Takiya Watch TV. A Muslim want. No, Takiya Watch is not a Muslim. I don't think he's a Muslim. Takiya watch, you are a Muslim? <coughs> Mr. Takiya, are you a Muslim? How he is a Muslim and he, he call himself Takiya watch? That would be funny because he that's mean he he watched the lies of Allah. <laughs> because Takiya is nothing but lying. Yeah, so where is the Muslim you are telling me he want to call you? He keeps saying to me, Taqiyya watch, Taqiyya watch. He got a Muslim? Okay, where is the Muslim? I mean, you guys are confusing me. Where is the Muslim? Where is the Muslim? Why? Okay, don't tell me about Taqiyya watch. Tell me where is the Muslim? He has a Muslim that he want to convert. He want to convert to what? To Christianity, you do not need me to convert. Go. Who is holding you? I'm sending ex Christian who is a Muslim that want to leave Islam to call you via Pal Talk. He wrote you on Pal Talk. Can you take a call, my friend? I don't know. I mean, uh, let me okay. Let me open my. <clears throat> let me open my pal talk <coughs> because I close it so it doesn't take too much of my internet all right what is the name of this guy who want to contact me what his name in pal talk
What is the name of Paltok? You guys are not helping me. What is this? like something wrong with pal talk the uh, if I click there's no text is coming there is uh, Muhammad this guy his name is Muhammad I don't know who is this guy he is saying he challenged me okay let's see he is not online next uh, I have a question. Where is your guys? Where, I mean, I cannot see the guy you are talking about. You want to call me? Are you there? Okay, let's see this guy. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mirza, it says that you have an old uh, pal talk. So I could not call you. For some reason, it says you have an old pal talk. You have to upgrade your pal talk. If you hear me, you have to update your version of pal talk, renew it. You have an old version of pal talk. Okay, do you have Skype? Let us see Skype. Help him. But I don't know what to do. You don't have a Skype and he don't uh, and this thing is not working. Uh Install Paltalk again, please, and let us see if it's going to work, and then you can contact me. I don't know why all of them, they are using old version of Paltalk. Any Muslim? So as you see, what we see in the front of us from the Islamic stories, and this is what the Muslims believe, is nothing but a stupid and silly and there is no way that a human being he have a little brain he will believe in this this is can function and used to work for 1400 years when people they were naive and there's no education in the middle east and until now there's many places in the middle east people do not know even how to read how to write like in saudi arabia as an example so those can work for the naive ones people who have no education who used to believe in every city stuff What do you think, Muslims? Why your religion is full of this madness? Do you really believe in those stories? Do you really believe in the Quran saying that Suleiman, he used to have shaitans and they die for him? 
Do you really believe in the Quran saying that Suleiman he have an army of birds and genie, shaitan, and a human? Suleiman he have an army of chicken? You believe in this? All right. Anyway, I'm not going to keep this video actually because I thought some Muslims will call me and we will debate and we will have a challenge and we will have a hot conversation. But look at them. They challenged me in the chat, but they don't dare, uh, uh, you know, but they don't dare really to call me. Maybe next time they will get some vitamin and they will get, they will feed themselves better. Maybe. I mean, maybe the food is a problem. Maybe today, Suleiman, uh, flying carpet is not uh, working, helping them. Maybe. Maybe next time is going to be better. It's okay. Um, <sighs> you can call me tomorrow. It's okay. If you could not call me today, no problem. Um, anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. We had enough uh, for today. Uh, those who want to call me, they can call me tomorrow. You can try. And uh, just be sure you update your version of Palto. Please go like a, a click at update in your uh, program. Go to help. And if you click at help, no, not help, at the C. Uh, I, I'm using uh, I'm using the Mac version of it, so I don't know what you are using. Uh, install the last version of PalTalk. Uh, maybe it's better if you uninstall, and then install it again from the App Store if you are using the phone, or install it from their website if you are using computer. To be sure, you have the last updated version of it. Yeah. Anyway, I want to say thank you for everybody to to be here. And as I said, I'm not going to keep this video. So, if, but if you can download it before I move it, download it. It's up to you, you know. But uh, I'm not going to keep it because I was expecting like maybe 20 Muslims will call me and change me life on air, uh, maybe 30, maybe 50. I was like, I, I have a lot of food next to me. I said to myself, I'm going to stay until tomorrow. Muslims will be calling me left and right, and dish, 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 and I will leave. And my nose is big, and my lips is, you know. Uh, blowing out from the busting, they will bust me left and right. And I, and even I, I even I order. I, I made a, I made a big order of a glue, because they will make me pieces. And, they, and then I have to glue myself. Each time I speak to Muslims, after I debate with them, I glue myself together. Look, my finger came out. Now, hold on. Let me put it back. And this is what happened when you buy Chinese glue. I mean, what is that? You can't trust the glue these days. You know. So, please, Muslims, get me busted for real. Not by chat text and making stupid videos here and there. Here we go. We are live. Call me. I will call you. Give me your name. I will call you. There's no excuse. And I don't care really how big or small you are. The big ones will not even dare to get close to me. All right? So, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And if you like to learn more about the cult of Islam, don't forget you can read my books. You can find them in many languages. And especially if you speak Spanish, please tell your friends about the Spanish translation. And soon I will have, actually I'm working now in the, uh, uh, in the cover of the second Spanish translation for my book, which is Quran and Science in Depth. So we have the Deception of Allah already translated to Spanish, and it's a new translation. So if you only knows about it, so if you speak in Spanish, please tell your friends about it. So they will uh, uh, they will be able to to uh, tell their friends. And you know, this is how we uh, spread the news about the, the work we do. Uh, and soon we will have Sex and Allah translated in German is going to be published too. So in, in maybe in 10 days from now, we will have three books published, uh, one in Spanish and two in German. The one in Spanish is uh, translation for Quran and science and depth, and the one in German for volume one and volume two of six and Allah. So I hope uh, the books are helping as many people as we can, 
and for sure our videos we have thousands and thousands of videos and as you see in our videos we don't make speeches I'm not a guy who put his face in the camera and make a speech about right and left here we show reference nothing but a reference nothing but evidence we don't make speeches speeches have no place here everything we say we prove it they make a claim they cannot prove we don't and if you watch any of my videos I always use Muslim websites Muslim translation and they themselves are the one who rejected they reject what they like or don't like and they accept what they like from the same book because this is what hypocrisy is about a person who have a decency he accept the whole book not a page or two and he throw out the, the, the rest so if you accept Ibn Kathir then let me know I challenge you but you don't you are ashamed of Ibn Kathir because Ibn Kathir he got your prophet busted with all the fairy tale stories Muhammad he taught you so let me know next time we go live on air if you really are proud about any tafsir book Al-Qurtubi, Al-Tabari, Al-Jalalain all the big names you have in the history of Islam and you will find yourself you don't want to hear the name of any of them because their names they are going to help us big time to expose your prophet thank you very much for being here may the lord bless you all christ is lord islam is false and see you soon again bye bye